Hi, my name is Clara Forero and I am a software developer for the RTC reporting team. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the timesheet information reports. These reports are going to display the information entered on the time tracking tab of the work items. On this tab, we can enter the number of hours that a user worked on a specific task on a specific day. If this is the first time that you are working with this report, you may have to start by deploying the report resources, since they are not deployed by default. In order to do that, we go to Reports, Report Resources. We use the button Deploy New Resources. We select the project area and then look for the five report resources. Personal Timesheet personal timesheet by project area, personal timesheet by work item, team timesheet, and work item timesheet summary. In total, five resources. They have been deployed. Let's create now our reports. We go to Reports, My Reports. Let's start with the personal timesheet. I can select a specific project area or a specific user, but I can decide to leave everything unchecked. I need to select though a from and to date. Let's save the parameters and run the report. I can see on the last column the total per user and on the last row the total per time code. Let's edit the parameters again and choose only the user admin. I can see now the time tracking information only for the user admin and at the bottom of the report I can see the parameters used to generate this information. If I click on the user's name, the personal timesheet by project area report is open. This report is divided into two parts. The one on top shows the total hours by project area and time code and the one at the bottom shows the total hours by project area and work item. Let's say that we realize that for work item 9 we work 20 hours but we enter only 10 and we want to change that. By clicking on the work item description the work item gets open. We go to the time tracking information and enter the missing information. So let's say that we work on review 5 hours on Monday and 5 hours on Tuesday. So that's a total of 20 hours for this work item. We go back to the report and we can see now that for work item 9 we have now 20 hours. This report, personal timesheet by project area, was open from the personal timesheet report, but it can also be opened independently. To do that, all we have to do is to create a new report based on the specific resource. Let's see now the third report, Team Timesheet. This report will display time tracking information for the current project area for selected work items. Let's create the report based on the Team Timesheet resource. Once again, this report is divided into two parts. The one at the top shows the total hours by user and time code, and the one at the bottom shows the total hours by word item and time code. If we edit the parameters, we see that we can select a specific category, timeline, or iteration. If we click on the user's name, the personal timesheet by work item report is open. This report shows detailed time tracking information for each work item for the selected user. Finally, the work item timesheet summary. This report will display the time tracking information of a parent work item and its children. The number of levels deep that the report should look for time tracking information is one of the parameters that can be entered. Let's use word item 36 and let's say that we want to go only one level deep. It means only the immediate children are going to be displayed on the report. The report shows the totals by word item and time code. In this case, 
only the immediate children of the word item 36 are included here. Let's say we want to go 10 levels deep. We go to the parameters and edit. Now we have here the three initial word items that we were seeing plus word item 37 that is a child of word item 9 and word item 39 that is a child of word item 37. This ends the demonstration of the timesheet information reports. Thanks for watching and visit just.net to keep up with the latest changes to Rational Team Concert 2013.